It's fall, y'all. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Just kind of letting y'all know like what's been happening because I haven't filmed in probably like a month. Even though y'all have still been seeing videos and actually I did just miss this past Thursday when I'm filming this. But I'm going to tell you kind of where I've been, what I've been doing. <laughs> I really just want to chat with y'all and put on makeup. So that's what we're going to do. It's currently 7 30. I of course got sick on the day that I could finally film this weekend is Labor Day weekend So I was like I'm pumping out videos even though I have a bunch of homework as well So it's not even like my full weekend is dedicated to YouTube because I have other things to do and also I kind of have no voice I'm just gonna go with it because I really want to film and I really want to talk to y'all and let y'all know What's been going on? Hopefully as the video goes on my voice gets better because this is probably really annoying and croaky But it's fine. Well, I kind of want to do like a red smoky eye today because today's September 1st So it's officially fall. So I mean I haven't put on makeup in so long and yesterday whenever I was just like playing with makeup or whatever I put this on and I kind of like dragged it under my eye and it actually didn't look dry like i remember it like it actually looked really good so i was like um what i am going to set my eyelids for this just because yesterday i tried not setting my eyelids with these shadows and like these are just so pigmented that i need to set my lid because then they'll be like way too pigmented and i feel like they grip on today i'm going to be using the wet n wild rose in the air palette recently i started talking about i really just want to use products in my collection that i never use and this is one that i used for a video and then didn't ever use again i feel like these two are just screaming fall so i really want to do like this in the crease and this all over the lid and blown out i just got these new ColourPop shadows this one is no promises and it's just like a super deep red this one and hello goodbye i don't know if i'm gonna use this one or if it's gonna be completely matte we will see if i don't say what i'm using hopefully i'll just hold it up or it will be listed in the lay down bar one video that i really want to work on hopefully this weekend it shouldn't really take long since i literally have a script to it it's a subject that i'm really passionate about and it is more of like an informational faith related video and i haven't done one of those in a while i just don't have time the types of videos do take a lot of research for my transition shade i'm gonna go with this purple i don't know why i'm doing this i just feel like it school's just been super hectic i'm taking like super hard classes three of my classes i have to do a lot of reading in one i hate reading two i'm not good at it and it takes forever i'm spending a lot of time doing that and then whenever i'm not doing that like if i'm not doing other homework then i'm watching youtube because i just need to take a break and let my head rest i'm taking that top cool tone transition shade i have a video that i've been trying to edit a warm and cool look i've been editing that for like <laughs> three weeks but i just haven't had time to like sit down and full force edit it if i'm not feeling inspired or like i'm already done like i'm just like i really don't feel like doing this anymore and i just sit down for a solid two three four hours whatever and i don't get up and i just edit and my head is just in editing i'm taking that bottom transition shade i just haven't had time to do that i'm gonna go in with this warm shade and by the way the whole time i was using the aoe studio e127 i'm gonna put this on the outer corner but i mean it's gonna be covered up anyway it hasn't been like too too hard it's just like a lot of work if that makes sense i have been pretty stressed out it's just like go 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 like i haven't had time to focus on anything else besides like my current school and i need to prepare for some things in the future but like i actually can't prepare for them because i'm too busy working on like things for right now i hate school so much and i just wish i could get on with my life and like actually get to what matters you know um, I've been feeling that a lot recently as well. I'm just putting this all over the lid. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it. I don't care. I had videos pre-filmed, I think, like, two or three weeks up into school or something like that. The last video that I posted was the bubble mask, like, while I'm filming this. Hopefully you've seen the warm versus cool look by now. Now I'm gonna go in with that deeper red. Life has been happening. It's just been crazy. And then I went to the Taylor Swift concert. I know, like, if y'all have seen any of my recent videos or you've been watching me for a while, y'all know I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift. I got surprised for my birthday and I was so excited. When I opened the box, I was, like, crying because... <laughs> I never thought that I would like go to Taylor Swift. The Taylor Swift Reputation Tour was probably the best concert I've ever been to. There was just like so much energy. She was just like go go go. At one point she went to her guitar and she was like I should be able to come back to my roots where I came from or something like that. And then she was like she was like I hope y'all will 
are you okay with that? And I was like, oh, of course, Honey Bunch. Like, I love your old Taylor, your new Taylor. Girl, whoever you end up being, I love you. I just love Taylor Swift so much, like with a passion. Normally you say I hate her with a passion, but I love her with a passion. Now I'm gonna go on with No Promises by ColourPop. Just put this on the lead. The U129 just like swirled it in there. Like, you know, I thought that, and then I get it on the brush and just blend it out. I'm gonna go with the darkest brown in that palette. There's a video that I have in mind that I really love the video idea. I feel like it's either going to be a really good turnout or like no one's gonna watch it because I feel like that's how it ends up being whenever I feel like I create tags, like no one watches it. James Charles or Nikki Charles does one and there's like pulls up, then mine will be like, you know? That's kind of what I feel like, but I feel like it's a really cool video idea. I don't think anyone has done it. This is just sad. Now I'm just gonna go do my face off camera. So I have done my face now. This still looks awful. It's fine. My voice sounds worse. My brows look really bad right now because I'm gonna do them on camera for you. I guess I've been doing them with something different. So I did my regular base routine and I'll link it up here. It's my go-to long lasting la la la. And the only thing that I left first to do on camera was highlight. Even though it's the same thing that I do in there. I just always love doing highlight on camera. I'm using Make Ruggles and Sobex, obviously. Uh, I think I want it to be like more gold. I'm just gonna go in with these three. I have realized like a lot of people do not swirl their highlight like this. They just go whoosh, 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 whoosh. and like now that makes me cringe. I'm thinking of doing like a video of techniques I didn't used to do. The best techniques or like techniques I've learned over the years or Something like that basically that showed how much I've learned, whether it be like showing what I used to do versus what I do now or best tips or something like that. I don't really know. So now I'm going to do my Lori Lace line and I literally just do the same exact thing. The cool tone transition shade. Now I'm going on the warm one. I'm going to take a really dense brush with the orange shade. This just looks really bad because it literally looks like a wing. We're just gonna have to go with it even though I hate saying that because it literally looks like dog poop. On the inner corner of the lower lash line I am going to go in with Hello Goodbye. I'm gonna take this golden. I'm actually gonna go over that with this gold. Blend it up just into it so that there's not a complete harsh whatever i'm gonna show you how i do my brows so i recently got the ellie girl shady slim brow pencil and i have the shade brunette i love this shade the reason i got this was because of the shade it literally is the perfect shade for me the one other brow pencil that i've tried was like way too warm this is just like perfect and i just kind of turn it to the side and do the front ears i'm pretty sure my brows are a lot more cool toned in my hair like i feel like my hair is pretty neutral i don't really know i would just rather go cool with my brow pencils if there's any sparse areas then i just go over it with my powder that i used to always use anyways i love the spoolie on this by the way like it's so good especially the front part of brush out since this is a darker makeup look i feel like it's making my eyebrows look really ashy so i'm gonna go with this one and that one just to make them a little darker. I'm just going to use the same highlight I used on my face. I normally do that before my brows so that shimmer doesn't get all in them, but it's fine. I'm going to put on some mascara and we'll figure out what color. Now for late lips. I did go ahead and put uh, ColourPop Mr. Bing in my Titan waterline. For mascara, I used Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick in Praline just because it is a little darker, more cool toned. Then I'm going to top it off with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Moonchild. Well, I feel like this makes my lips look dead. Like, I feel like I kind of look dead right now. It's fine. Once again, not crazy about the lip color. I hate this one right here. It's just going to and then cover that up. This is the finished look. I really do like the lip color by itself. That's literally how it always ends up. I'm like, I really like this lip color by itself, but oh well. Even though it didn't turn out as pretty as I thought it was going to. I still got to talk to y'all, so that's all that matters. That's where I've been. That's what's been happening. School's just been hectic. I really have missed talking to y'all. I miss posting. I miss responding to comments. I've, like, missed everything. Who's ready for fall? I'm so excited for fall. Ah. If you're in school, how's school going for you? Like, is it kicking your butt? Or are you like, um, I have the easiest classes? Are you in school? Are you out of school? Are you... 
I don't know. Just tell me down below also if you're ready for fall, what kind of fall looks you want to see, if you want to see any fall looks, any fall videos, any videos you want me to do, anything. It doesn't have to be fall, just anything. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I would love it if you subscribe down below and also please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Big reputation, big reputation. Mm, you and me will be a big conversation. Ah.